Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on maximum heap construction. That means constructing the maximum heap for the following elements. So these are the given elements. By using these elements, we have to construct the maximum heap. So before going to the construction of maximum heap, what is maximum heap? In maximum heap, the parent node's value is always greater than its children node's values. Okay, so this property is used for constructing the maximum heap. Okay, first, so first element, first we have to insert these elements. Insert 32. Initially, maximum heap is empty whatever the element we are inserted that element is the first element or are the root element in maximum heap so that is 32 is inserted into the maximum heap initially it is empty now single node is also a maximum heap okay next Next, we have to insert element 15 into the existing maximum heap. Okay, now 15 can be inserted as a left chain for node 32. Now, it satisfies the max, maximum heap property or not. Okay, so root 15 parent is 32. So, 32 is greater than 15. So, parent node's value that is 32 is greater than its chained node's value. Chained node value is 15. So, 32 is greater than 15. So, that it satisfies the maximum heap property. Okay. Next. Next element we have to insert is element 20. Okay. So, 20 can be inserted as a right chain of 32. Okay. Now it is a maximum heap or not. Here 15 and 20 are chains of 32. So 32 is the parent of 15 and 20. Parent node's value is 32 is greater than its children's values 15 and 20. So 32 is greater than 50. 32 is greater than 20. Now, it satisfies the maximum heap property. Now, it is a maximum heap. Next, we have to insert element 30. So, element 30 can be inserted as a left chain of 15. So now, now it satisfies the maximum heap property or not. First, now consider node 15. Okay, so node 15 has only one child that is 30. So 30 parent is 15. Okay, 30 parent is 15. So parent node's value is less than the child node's value. It does not satisfy the heap property. Hence, we have to swap these two elements. Okay. Now we are getting, so 32, here 30, here 15, and 32 right chain is 20. Now check, it satisfies the maximum heap property or not. So now 15 parent is 30, so 30 is greater than 15. So it satisfies the maximum heap property. Now, so 30 and 20 parent is 32. So 32 is greater than 30 as true. 32 is greater than 20 as true. Now it satisfies the maximum heap property after inserting 30. Okay. Next, we have to insert element 12. So, before inserting element 12, 
what is the tree is there 32 left chain is 30 32 right chain is 20 and 30 left chain is 15 okay now insert 12 12 can be inserted as a right child of 30 okay now 12 can be inserted as a right child of 30 now check whether it is a maximum heap or not okay 15 and 12 has the parent 30 so parent node value is 30 30 is greater than 15 30 is greater than 12 so it satisfies the maximum heap property next 30 and 20 has the parent 32 parent nodes value is 32 32 is greater than its children value 30 and its children value 20 now it satisfies the maximum heap property okay next we have to insert 25 before inserting 25 the maximum heap is Now, now we have to insert 25. 25 can be inserted as a left child of 20. Okay. After inserting 25, whether it satisfies the maximum heap property or not. 15 and 20, 12 has the parent 30. So 30 is greater than 15. 30 is greater than 12. It satisfies the maximum heap property. Next, 20, 20, 25 has the parent 20. So now 20 is less than 25. Okay. So now it does not satisfy the heap, maximum heap property. So parent node value is always greater than child node's value. So that we have to swap these two values so then we are getting 32 left subtree does not change and here 25 and here 20 okay Now, 20 parent is 25, 25 is greater than 20 as it satisfies the maximum key property. Next, 30 and 25 has the parent 32. So now 32 is greater than 30, 32 is greater than 25. So hence, it satisfies the maximum key property. Okay, now next we have to insert 16. So before inserting 16, the previous maximum heap is now 16 can be inserted as a right child of 25. Okay, now after inserting 16 now it satisfies the maximum heap property or not so now 20 and 60 has the parent 25 so now 25 is greater than 20 its children's 25 is greater than 16 okay so parent node value is greater than its children nodes value so it satisfies the maximum heap property now here 15 and 12, they have the parent 30. So now 30 is greater than 15, 30 is greater than 12. So now it satisfies the maximum heap property. So now 30 and 25 is there. So its parent is 32. Parent node's value is greater than its children node value 30 and 25. 32 is greater than 30, 32 is greater than 25. So now it satisfies the maximum heat property.
So, at last, this is the maximum heat. This is the max heat. Okay. Now, this maximum heat can be represented by using the array. So, here root node is stored 32 at index 1. Next, its left chain is 2i position. So, it is 30. Its right chain is 2i plus 1 position. That is 25. And 30 left chain is located at index 4. 30 right chain is located at index 5. And uh, 25 left chain is located at uh, 6th position, 6th index. And uh, 25 right chain is located at index 7. Okay, so this is the array representation of the above binary tree. So in this way, we have to construct the maximum heat. Now we go for 